disturbing things about this shooting according to people in this community is that it took place in broad daylight in what's a usually very busy area the gunman he's still on the loose tonight he has not yet been caught so police and investigators are asking for witnesses to come forward and talk to them because right now we're told many are keeping quiet in fear of retaliation a grief-stricken family breaks down after learning their loved one was shot and killed in Lamert Park he was confronted by an individual. There was a conversation or argument. The suspect, who we believe is a male black, fired multiple shots, striking the victim about his body, the chest, abdomen area. The coroner says 32-year-old DeMarco Rankin was sitting in his car along 8th Avenue near Lamert Boulevard when the killer opened fire on him. Investigators say Rankin got out of his car and stumbled about 15 feet before falling down and dying. We have a young 25-year-old uh, man who was shot dead on the sidewalk. I just hug a mother, a sister, and an uncle who are completely devastated because of the killing of their son. Officers brought family members over to identify Rankin's body before the coroner could take him away. After hearing the loud gunfire, the community came out and gathered around the scene. Someone told police they saw the shooter drive off in a dark-colored sedan. Detectives aren't sure why DeMarco Rankin was specifically targeted. It may be gang-related, but the LAPD isn't certain about that just yet. Nervous neighbors didn't want to talk about the killing on camera. I understand that there may be some concerns about um, safety, but as I have said in the past, we have a responsibility uh, to bring justice to the family and to also uh, bring the people, person or persons responsible to justice. We can only do that with the support and cooperation of the committee. 
Exactly. And again, the shooter's car is described as a dark-colored sedan. If you at home know anything about the murder of DeMarco Rankin, please call police, only for the sake of his family.